Hello? Hi, may I talk to Scott? This is? Hi, this is Haywood with Otis Elevators. Okay. Got some mail returned that we had sent to you. Okay. I guess you didn't see it from Otis Elevators. No. We had actually sent you a bill. There's a fee associated with our elevators when anyone presses more than four buttons at once. You uh, were on surveillance. There's an $89 fee associated with that. So that's what we're trying to collect here today. When was this? January. January? Yes, sir. I don't remember being in an elevator back in January. Uh, it's on uh, Hobby Avenue, or uh, Indiana Avenue, one of our buildings there. If you just wanted to do the uh, credit card by phone or a routing number by phone, we could satisfy the debt that way. An elevator over on Hobby Avenue? Yes, sir. What's the building? It was a city building. Uh, it was an $89 fee. It's just to prevent people from pushing buttons willy-nilly and... Elevators are not to be toyed with, was the reasoning behind the fee. What was the date of this? January 2 through the 12th, we were doing a big sweep. So within that 10-day time frame, sir. <clears throat> you push too many buttons. That was the long and short of it. Yeah, well, I'm trying to tell you, I don't remember being in a building during that time frame. Uh, we do. Okay, it's on video. Uh, we've even got audio of that uh, elevator ride that you took. Uh, I'm with Otis Elevators. Okay, I've been here. Okay, I don't remember being in an elevator on Indiana Avenue. Four years I've been here, okay? We've seen lots and lots of elevators go up and down, and people are pushing too many buttons. It's wearing the things out. This is what you did, and this is what we need, $89. I check the mail every day, and I've never received anything from an Otis Elevator. Uh-huh. You can't even give me a building that I was in that had an elevator. Well, it got returned to sender, sir. How can it give you a return to sender if I never received it? Well, that's the problem. Work it out with your uh, substation of your post office. Who knows what else you're not receiving, okay? And then you decide to get in the elevator, go up, go down, whatever you were doing, and you pressed uh, in excess of four buttons. It's pointing the thing out double, triple time of what it should be. The That's only building that I can ever think of that is on Indiana Avenue, which would have a elevator in it, would have been the courthouse in Kankakee. Oh, okay. Well, then that's uh, 89 times 2. That would be 198 today. I appreciate your being forthright about this. So just read us the credit card number. We'll wipe it out. And in the future, just press the one button. Boom. We're done. Okay, first of all, I'm not going to pay for anything if I haven't seen a bill that says I was there. Okay, well, that's between you and the post office, sir. Well, no, that's between you and me because I, you're saying you sent it. I've never seen anything from an Otis elevator. I'm telling you, the only building on Indiana Avenue that would have such a thing is the courthouse. And, and if I'm in an elevator, I'm only pressing one button. More like five or six, according to our videotape. Well, why don't you send me a copy of your video so I can either confirm or deny this? Because that's private property. It's part of the city. Well, then you send me a fucking bill or a picture from your video that says I was there so I can either confirm or deny that I was there. And I'm telling you, between the 2nd and the 12th, my ass was sitting in my apartment. Well, there's nothing to deny, and we've got audio as well. Okay, but see, you're saying you have it. I'm disputing your claim that you have it because I've never seen anything from you. Oh, sir, you were hooting and hollering in this elevator. Hopped I'm hooting and, and hollering in the elevator? Yes, sir. And that's the reason uh, why we instituted this $89 penalty is to dissuade folks from going buck wild. Okay, so that's the... First of all, I would not hoot and holler in an elevator. I was raised better than that. Now, can you tell me what I was doing? Obviously, you've seen the video. Oh, you were spinning around. You were, okay. The people were going buck wild. Um, no, that's not me. I've been here four years. I have. I've seen it all. I really have. I would never do no such thing in an elevator. Oh, there was saliva on the ground? 
Trust me, there was a lot going on there. Okay, first, you're making this shit up because I would not do anything like that. Sir, we have video. We have audio. I've seen then it. Then show it to me. Private property. It's city property. Well, then it's my word against yours. Now, you say I've done this. I'm hooting, hollering. I'm slobbering on the ground. Yes, I'm telling you, I didn't because between January 2nd and January 12th, I was home. Now, you can't give me an exact date. All you're giving me is a 10-day window. You're not telling me what type of a building I'm even in for this to happen. You're telling me all this outlandish stuff, which is not me to begin with. So, until I see some proof from you, you're not getting a fucking dime from me. This is non-compliance right here is what this is. And there's a surcharge for that. To the tune of 69 additional dollars. We can keep going. It's your call. And I'm telling you. Until I see some type of proof to your claims, you're not getting anything from me. Just read the credit card number and we'll just put it behind this. You're not good? getting a credit card until I get proof, buddy. I've got the proof right here in, in my And you account. show me the fucking proof because all I have is your word that such a thing has happened. Oh, you're just joyriding. That's what you're doing. During that time frame, I really didn't leave my house that much unless it was to go get groceries. Not I have lived in Kankakee for 44 fucking years. There is no grocery store on Indiana Avenue. Sir, can you just read us the routing number? We'll You're not getting the anything until I get fucking proof. So stop trying to get me on money on shit that I didn't do. Or cash. You're not. What part of you're not getting a dime until I get proof? Do you even understand? I could send you a, an MP3 of the audio of you spinning around, whooping it up, acting inappropriate, but you're not going to like what you hear any more than I did, to be frank. Hell, burn it on a DVD, because I've never received anything from an Otis Elevator. Burn a DVD? This whole incident is burned into my memory. It's unpleasant. The only thing would have been unpleasant for you to see of anything me doing an elevator would be fucking a woman. Which I haven't done in years, and I wouldn't have done it in Kankakee County because the elevators don't go that far. You're out of control. You are. Well, okay, apparently I'm out of control on someone who has generated probably a pretty good scam to get people to give them their bank account numbers a so that they can drain them of their accounts. A scam? You're buck wild. You're buck wild, is what you are. And it's far out. Well, like I said, you're making stuff up because that's not anything I would do in an elevator. You're not getting shit until you can generate proof, which I doubt you can do. Oh, I've got the proof right here in my video machine. So you say, but like I keep telling you, I've never heard of your company. We have been in business for 117 years. My good man. And apparently in 117 years, I'm the worst person that has been in your elevator system. Again, you read us the routing number, we'll let it go, and I'm not going to hold anything against you. That's how big of a guy I am, all right? Like I said, you show me proof that I did what you said I did in your elevator, and you might get some money. Well, I'm getting the money, but period. There's no two ways about that. Just a matter if I have to and see you in the courtroom or not. Sir, quit dancing around the subject and just read the credit card number and the expiration date. You want a credit card number? Here you go. Zero, 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 zero. It's all zeros because you're not getting a fucking number. You tell me what building I'm in and you put screenshots of what the fuck I'm doing. And then... I'll take it to my lawyer to see if it's real or not. Oh, it's beyond real, what I'm looking at. I've never heard of your company, so you're going to try to get my banking information so you can go fund Al-Qaeda or ISIS or whatever the fuck you're funding at this particular moment. I don't know. You could be funding your mom's drug habit. I don't fucking know at this moment. But until I get all of that, you're not getting a fucking dime. Hello? Oh, yes. This is Ray Ray with Otis Elevators calling, sir. 
I've never received anything from you, and you're like I said before when you called, you're not going to get anything until I get something. I talked to my lawyer, and my lawyer would like to see a copy of this alleged video of me acting like an idiot in an elevator. It's indecent for presentation, so just make the check out to Otis Elevator. I'll... <laughs> you're not, no, you're not going to get anything until I get a bill and I get proof. Well, I'll give you time to get a pen. Because That's certainly no problem. No. Because if no. you actually were Otis Elevator, you would show up on my caller ID as Otis Elevator, not Mummy Napkin. My notes say Buckwild, Drool, and uh, Hogwild. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, well, hey, have you ever seen me act Buckwild, Drool, and Hogwild in an elevator? Okay, so right there, your claim is disputed right there. I'm going to put you through to my manager. I can't, get, shit again? I can't get through to you. Talk to my manager, sir. It might be his mom. Hello? Yeah. Hold on. Oh, there's a dog screeching in the background. What office has a dog screeching in the background? Huh? Yes, I'm refuting your claims here because I don't believe you're an actual company. I believe you're trying to scam me out of money. Where are you calling? Uh, actually, you called me. I did. Yes, whoever you have there working in your quote-unquote office has called me twice saying they work for an Otis Elevator company. Yeah, it's not me, man. Okay, well, whoever you have there... It's kind of funny. Uh, this isn't an office. It's a residence. Well, you have someone there who has called me twice, and it's popped up mummy napkin on my caller ID. That's kind of weird, man. I, no, that's not me. Okay, it's a well, residence. I'm telling you that. I kind of figured it was because the guy was trying to get my information so he could join my account. No, you need to be careful, man. All right. Thank you for your help. Right on. I wouldn't do that. Later.